A common cliche in life is as stated. You can run, but you can't hide. Now, in a perfect world, you have the capability to both run and hide. However, what if I told you neither is possible? No ability to move and no place to seek refuge. In a prison of your own existence. Crippled by the reflections of the past, petrified in the depths of your mind. Picture yourself in the woods, running as fast as you can away from something. No matter how fast you run, no matter how agile you are, whatever is chasing you is right behind you, breathing down the spine of your neck, daring you to look back, almost as though it's a part of you. Regardless of how hard you try to get away, when you least expect it, it catches up to you. It slows you down and takes hold, refusing to let go. But for you, you faced it. It's then, when you face your fears, that they begin to fade. And you find that some things may be more tangible. Your family, your friends, and loved ones are all worth much more than a distant memory. The hardships you faced in the past have broken you down. However, they've also made you stronger. And it's through the struggle and the failure that you can begin to rebuild yourself one piece at a time. How do you know what is good if nothing is ever bad? How do you know it needs fixed if it never breaks? How can you control something that's uncontrollable? These are all questions that talked you down from that cliff. Because you have to have been broken to be fixed. You have to have seen the bad in the world to appreciate the good. And you have to experience chaos to regain composure. So right here, who's the real hero? Is it the uncontrollable love from your family? The unbreaking bond between you and your best mates? The small voice in the back of your mind telling you that you are worth so much more. It was all of those. The world is a broken place, but it's a place you deserve to walk, laugh, and cry on. Because at the end of the day, the ups and the downs are what makes life worth living.